Over 40 million buffalo roamed the prairies in the 1800s, but by 1900, they had been decimated. Similarly, the first peoples of the land. Tear Fund and our indigenous partner, local COA, alongside settlers and churches across Canada, are committed to understanding and learning the truth and responding in reconciliation in an appropriate and relevant manner. We want to give back to our First Nations brothers and sisters in a manner that restores culture, identity, and brings long-term food security. Here's the story of Pelican Lake First Nation and the return of the buffalo. Well, for many years, the buffalo had sustained our people for pre-contact and, you know, utilize it in every aspect from food. It sustained us as our, as Nihilok, Cree people. The buffalo at one time roamed here very many, many years ago, hundreds of years ago. As to this day, we still find buffalo skulls and marshes and swamps. Well, back in the day, that's what we survived on. That, that's, you know, they're coming back home now. Traditionally, it's so important for our people to go back to the roots, the buffalo. I've been talking to a lot of elders, and buffalo is our sacred animal to our members, our First Nations people. Eh? It's always been part of our traditions. We have a dream for the future to raise a whole bunch of buffalo to feed our people. This day is important for the Pelican Lake First Nation as our children get to see the buffalo return back to our homelands. And this is something that they will then in turn tell their grandchildren about. So uh, I signed a covenant with Lima and his group. Within three to four years, we're going to sort off 20 pregnant cows and two bulls. And we get to give those to a nation. That's my first time actually ever seeing a buffalo. It's good that them buffaloes are back even though they were almost killed off. It's good because um because we need more food. We lost our identity, we lost our culture, we lost our families, we lost everything, we lost the buffalo. And now they put they bring hope in our culture, in our families. We've received the uh, our bison and the uh, our goal is to, you know, reach 300 head of bison to sustain our, our community with food stores. Children don't know what was in the past, but this is the future. So now hopefully it's something that we can teach our younger generation. I feel that Pelican Lake First Nation is blessed to have buffalo be delivered to them. And it's an honor to see buffalo on Pelican Lake First Nation. This is the fourth herd of buffalo that local Koa has planted in Saskatchewan. Pelican Flake First Nation is providing over 1,200 acres of fenced land while settlers, churches, and individuals through Tear Fund are providing 20 pregnant buffalo and two bulls as a breeding herd. Thank you for coming alongside and being part of this story. <laughs>